a word do we start? <laughs> the, the planning as such was first that we had to have major zones. And functionalism and planning were very strong to both our minds. It, the planning had to work. So we had a, a living zone, which was to the left of the main entrance, and we had a sleeping zone, which was to the right of the main entrance, and the so-called work zone, which was the kitchen, bathroom. Thing. So they were clearly defined, I think. We had no money for the war service home loan, and the idea was to try and make the house appear psychologically as big as we could. And that's where we came up with various ideas to hopefully achieve that. The initial response to the site wasn't as sympathetic as this house was, it was much more dramatic. Uh, and I was trying to create a house which was very much contemporary and which used contemporary materials, steel and concrete and glass, and <coughs> had some human expression, which was my big criteria, I suppose. Fortunately, I think the house didn't go ahead. It was too expensive. and. Uh, we came up with this design and it, it did revert to traditional materials to gain what I called human expression. I was a strong contemporary, hopeful architect and strongly believed in all the theories of the time. But I felt that the houses particularly were, were lacking something. Uh, there was no detail, there was no uh, little bit of human touches and consequently I felt they were cold. Uh, and decoration had become a dirty word, largely because I think the, the, the modern movement came about as a reaction to Victorianism and the high, huge amount of decoration, so the decoration became almost more important than the architecture in which it was based. Uh, so I wanted to add a little humanity, that's really as simple as that. Well, I actually fell in love with this particular house. Um, in 1996, I um, worked on an exhibition for Sydney Living Museums. I was on a, a research panel and we all got divvied up, you know, different buildings to research and it just so happened that I, this was one of them. And I absolutely fell in love with that whole idea of the sighting and over the creek and, and Russell's use of decoration. Um, it it was, became my dream house, it's extraordinary, and Russell became sort of like my mentor. So yes, yeah, so this house has been really, you know, in my psyche since 1996. It's, it's extraordinary. It's like living in nature. We live on this creek and, you know, the house just opens up. It's like being in a tree house, really, you know, when you look out the window. You're very much, you know, really connected to nature. So it's beautiful. And, and having my daughter in the house, you know, the house is so beautifully designed, this L shape that, you know, with all the glazing, that no matter where I am in the house, even if I'm doing my own thing, I can still see my daughter. So there's this fantastic idea that we can connect and still see each other visually, but we're not living on top of each other. Um, and then the only thing I've done in, in relation to actually um, reinstating something is there are some louvers in the master bedroom and I decided to reinstate them. Russell had had them originally there but they weren't functioning so um, so Russell and I and another gentleman who's a um, furniture designer and he got Glenn Merkett involved and there are quite a few people involved and anyway we came up with a new system and I got some new louvers made and we stained them and it's beautiful. It was sort of the only thing in the house that wasn't working the way it was meant to and it's just gorgeous and I think Russell's really happy now too. I often felt the house in many ways was a background uh, to various forms of interior treatment. I must be careful not to say decoration. Uh, <laughs> uh, and it reflects one's personalities a bit, I think. And Annalise's personality is different from mine. Uh, and she's been able to, I think, to, to make those changes. I mean, there's more colour in it now than we had, but then I have to remember that we had some pretty violent colours in that sitting room ourselves from time to time. You did, you took them all down. Yes, but we you took used them to down. So we've, orange you know, walls we, and... Yes, yes. So that I think the house can take it. It was a major part of my life was spent here. And the happiest part of my life, you know, with a, a, far, a wonderful marriage and wonderful children and superb dogs. <laughs> 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 and opportunities for me to carry out what few hobbies I had, which was mainly playing with the house and carpentering and bricklaying in the garden and there's so much we put into it uh, that it's wonderful to think it's all understood and loved. <laughs>